we started with the visuals and then we wanted to like attach a proper sound to the visuals so that you have like a nice feeling or a nice vibe of uh, the, the complete car. And then uh, we moved on to uh, organizing the whole thing. Early on, uh, we made the decision that we are going to record on the racetracks and then we are going to record cars in movement. We started cooperation with Tomek Tropik, who is like very, very well-known uh, racing driver in Poland. That's really a nice sensation when you're driving with a racing driver and then he pushes the car to the limits. Like you can feel the, the G's with the braking and uh, tight cornering and you can feel the car actually like bending the laws of physics. We wanted to record a broad spectrum of cars, so we started with the powerful muscle cars and then we went to uh, more screaming uh, tuned V6s, inline 6s and then we went to V10s. We wanted to grab the off-road cars, we of course uh, grabbed some uh, drift cars, just to have the more aggressive character in the cars. We had to assemble a sound group or a sound team that would make the placing of the mics process very, very fast because we had plenty of cars to do in a short time span. We had the team of mechanics from a rally team and they helped us immensely. What they've done, they've allowed us to put the microphones into places that we wouldn't be able to access uh, differently. Putting a mic right into the car they helped us to locate the places that are best. Usually place three microphones in the engine bay, three microphones uh, in the exhaust and two microphones in the car. Cars are very, very complex in terms of sound and uh, it's very difficult to get all the necessary components uh, that you have to have to make it sound believable. But we were trying to look for something that would give us the character of the engine. We wanted to use normal organic uh, electric engine that you could actually have in the nowadays car. We didn't want the engines to be futuristic, sci-fi-ish sounding. We wanted them much more organic, much more down to earth, something that would that would represent the combustion engine. And on top of that, we added small elements like the futuristic horns or like a futuristic UI of a car. It makes you feel like you are in a car of the future and some car might talk to you, other car might have blips and bobs that will make you feel like you're in a futuristic vehicle. We wanted to be uh, very, very close to what Mike uh, set up in the war. And uh, early on, we decided to record uh, Johnny's uh, original car, which is the uh, Porsche 911 930 from 1977. We recorded it on dyno in control environment in a, in a chamber. We could put Mike in very different places. Porsche 930 that we recorded is the only car really that will be really sounding like the real car in the real world. We recorded more than 40 vehicles. Not often do we record so many vehicles for a game that is not really a racing game. Truth being told, this was the hardest part in, uh, in my sound career and I'm very, very proud of uh, what we achieved with the sound team. This was something that we didn't do before. So creating the designs, uh, creating the technology behind the, how the sound behaves, that's the best thing actually I ever did in my sound career.